Tonight we have five little vipers to unbox from Africa. We also have a mystery snake. And I can honestly say, this is the closest call I've ever had filming a YouTube video. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. So the five vipers that we will be unboxing tonight are none other than the Atheris squamager, or the variable bush viper from Africa. These are a relatively small viper. Uh, they get around about 18 to 24 inches, uh, some specimens getting larger than that, but typically they're, they're considered very small uh, compared to many other African snakes. But these guys are extremely toxic, uh, drop for drop, very, very toxic. Uh, animal this size could kill an adult human being. One of the worst parts about these guys is they don't actually have a specific anti-venin. Uh, in the past they have used like the Echis anti-venin or the Sol scaled anti-venin and it works to a certain degree but it's not perfect. Uh, these guys are actually called variable bush vipers because they vary quite a bit in color. Uh, some ranges are pretty typical but for the most part uh, they do vary in uh, red, yellow, green, blue, a little bit of everything. Uh, these guys are kind of hard to film. I actually have somebody else doing the handling and I'm doing the filming tonight. Um, but we're putting them inside these tiny tubs uh, just for quarantine to make sure that they're hydrated because these guys just got shipped in. So we're trying to make sure that everybody's doing well. Uh, we have a some larger cages coming tonight uh, for a couple of the other snakes or the last snake that you're going to see. Don't want to ruin the surprise yet. But uh, these guys are pretty interesting. They typically eat mice like pinkies, uh, fuzzies. And they will also eat when they're younger frogs. Um, but them being African, uh, a lot of them are imports. Uh, they're not bred in captivity. I mean, they are bred in captivity, but I don't believe that these were bred in captivity. Uh, they can carry some pretty harsh bacteria and viruses, hence why we are actually uh, unloading these or unboxing these inside the garage because we don't want to uh, contaminate the rest of the collection. If you see a snake inside the background, that's a snake who's also going through quarantine. So uh, once these guys are finished up, they'll be going into the reptile building. This garage is completely climate controlled, so no worries there. But they're a very, very beautiful snake, very quick. They strike very fast, uh, like a lot of the African snakes do. Uh, but I guess being that small in Africa with such fierce critters, you have to be willing to stand your ground. You know, you have to be uh, willing to go the extra mile to stay safe. Otherwise, they would have never survived this long. These guys will actually gape a lot like a black mamba or a cottonmouth will. They'll sit there when feeling threatened and open up their mouth real wide. I'm sure you guys have seen the picture or it's coming up here shortly of the Atheris that's actually doing that. Um, these pictures are of the snakes, not the first two, but all the other pictures are of the snakes that's being filmed. It's just the lighting's a little off and it's a little blurry, mainly because I'm behind the camera. But uh, tonight I figured I would film these and a friend of mine is doing all the handling for the most part. Um, here a little later, I do both at the same time because he had to take a phone call. But uh, these guys are just amazing. The eyes on them are just stunning. Uh, a lot of people are obsessed with like the hairy bush viper. Uh, they think it's one of the most beautiful snakes on earth, and I agree, they're very interesting. But they're actually closely related to these guys. They're also inside the Atheris family. So uh, as you see, these guys have a pretty keeled scale on them or a, a ridge in the middle of each scale as what keeled scale means um, the or the uh, uh, hairy bush viper just seems to have a tad bit more of a keeled scale than these guys but uh, these guys actually live way better in captivity the uh, uh, hairy bush viper just doesn't do well at all this is the guy that I'm handling and filming and he is the snappiest of them all he is a little grump I even decide to take his paper towel with him and he's still just going nuts. He sees his own reflection and he strikes it multiple times. So he needs to calm down. All the others did so well and then there's this guy. So I'm trying to get the paper towel back from him because I really don't want that in there. Uh, this is actually one of the cleaner paper towels. He didn't make a mess uh, while in transit. Uh, maybe that's why he's so grumpy. Maybe he's constipated. but. Uh, so I go ahead here and I try to zoom in on the camera and so my fingers are actually manually twisting the lens to get a better shot and he hits the lens. So 
my fingers were practically right there. It would be great if he didn't do a full body strike there. Uh, actually, this is the second time that I've seen this species do a strike that impressive. And uh, I haven't seen any other species do anything quite like that for its size. You know, that's a very impressive strike. So I'm very happy that everything went well, all in all. But uh, these guys are absolutely gorgeous. So this last snake that we're going to work is actually uh, Bothriacus aurifer, uh, which is the yellow botched or uh, blotched palm pit viper. Uh, hopefully I got that right. I know its scientific name, but I don't know the common name. Wasn't expecting the specimen to be this big. So we already had the tub set up. So I'm like, we'll just go ahead and put it in the tub and uh, we'll set it up and set a different cage once we get those later this evening. So he'll get moved twice today, but uh, it is what it is. Beautiful snake. That stripe right across the side of the face is just gorgeous. I don't think you'll see one of these any place else on YouTube. I've never seen one, and if you did, it's probably in the wild. Uh, there's very few of these uh, in captivity, but these guys are just absolutely gorgeous. What's kind of interesting about them is they're actually from the, uh, the cloud forest uh, down in, I do believe it's Mexico. And uh, so there's a forest that kind of uh, runs along the coastline, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, it's not extremely high. We're talking like 6,000 feet elevation wise, but it's still quite a bit cooler. So these guys don't like it warm. Um, for the most part, the cooler it is, the happier they are. So uh, he'll enjoy this because we keep this room about 74 degrees. So he can fully thrive in that temperature unlike a lot of other common pet snakes like a ball python or a retic. But uh, for the most part, this guy is super chill. I do believe all in all as a species, they're pretty calm. Um, this individual has some stuck shed here, as you can see. We're gonna have to work on that. Uh, they are a pretty humid snake, uh, hence the cloud forest. Um, it's always raining or foggy or misting. and. So he gets sprayed down every day. But uh, beautiful, beautiful animal. Very calm, just trying to get away. Doesn't necessarily like the thought of a tub. So uh, he'll enjoy the arboreal cage he gets set up in here a little bit later. But uh, just beautiful. Not exactly sure. I don't know a lot about the venom of this species. But uh, I know they're pretty. I know I like them. Uh, they're called the yellow uh, blotched palm pit viper because the little spots, I don't know if you can see them very well on his back, in a lot of instances are kind of yellowish. Oops, a little plop to the head, sorry about that guy. But uh, he is not wanting to go in there. He's so calm though, at no point does he turn around and try to do anything crazy. He knows he's venomous, but he just chooses not to, not to use it. But uh, very, very pretty snake. These guys actually, they climb very well, but they're not fully arboreal. They're considered semi-arboreal, I do believe. Uh, they're typically found in bushes or shrubs, um, anywhere from like five, four, six feet off the ground. Nothing crazy. So this snake could definitely come in contact with you if you were hiking. Um, it's not going to be way up inside the tree. For the most part, they're going to stay low to the ground. And they uh, they typically eat lizards or uh, I do believe they eat reptiles. Maybe it was amphibians. I know they eat rodents. I don't believe they prey much on birds, but uh, they are very neat. I kind of always thought that they would be, you know, uh, very uh, inclined to be way up into the trees being bright green like that, but not so much. Another interesting fact is the fact that a lot of these are a lot of the South American vipers, at least arboreal, well, terrestrial vipers as well, uh, have a tendency to be nocturnal. Uh, these guys are actually diurnal, so they stay up during the day. They're more active at daytime, according to the literature at least. I don't know that anybody knows a lot about them, so that could be wrong. But uh, anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. So I'm sorry about the quality of that video, hence why I added those pictures. Hopefully those help out a little bit. The lighting was just a little bit off, but we really needed to get those guys unboxed, so I definitely rushed the filming process. But besides that, I'm not sure if you've seen the snake in the background. 
Um, we're going to be feeding him probably tonight. So with that being said, uh, if you like the snake in the background, if you remember what it was or noticed it, um, it's going to be eaten and I'm probably going to be filming that and uploading it here within maybe a week, two at most. I have like three other videos I'm working on right now. so. Not sure at what point I'm gonna get that one uploaded, but if you don't know what that snake is, you could go over to my Instagram. I didn't give it away there, but there's a guy in the comments who's already nailed it. Uh, I give away a little bit of tidbits on the videos I'm working on over there on Instagram. I like the platform, I like sharing pictures. So if you just uh, check out the Venom Man 20, I don't even think there's a the, I think it's just Venom Man 20. But anyway, make sure you subscribe because I really don't want you to miss that feeding video. If you don't care what the snake is, you'll see it in two weeks or a week. Don't know. Have a good night. Thanks for checking this out.